when in Rome. Not all the locals wear cowboy hats, but the ones that do, I think are super cool. So I went to the spot where they all get their gear. Boots for days, hats all over the place. And I thought to myself, you know, let me try on some boots. You know, boots, Texas, boots. I'm a boots guy, right? But it's like an embarrassment of riches in this place, like 31 flavors. There are a lot of boots here, a lot of boots. So I skipped the boots. And the hat selection was incredible. I tried on a bunch. Oh, you don't make that face in the mirror when you're trying on a hat? Some people might say that not everybody looks that much better in a cowboy hat, but I'm clear proof that uh, some people do. Now that I'm officially a California cowboy in San Antonio, let's eat. Today, we find ourselves stepping into the vivid colors, vivid beats, and mouth-watering flavors of a new thread that's woven itself into the Texas fabric, the Caribbean. This is Keeping It Real. I'm your hungry host, Greg Grunberg, and today we're exploring the captivating tale of how Caribbean cuisine found a home in the Lone Star State. Our guide on this culinary voyage is Nicola Black, a chef owner who embodies the spirit of the Caribbean resilience and vibrancy. I love pictures of food, especially delicious food like this. Great pictures, that leads to eating. I love that, but I don't know where to start, so I asked some locals. Choose between two pieces fried or two pieces jerk. What'd you just call me? You were here before us. What? Okay, are you sure? I'm sure. You guys, San Antonio, man, the people are so nice. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna get the fried green tomatoes, please. Great book and a great movie. They're doing they're doing the jerk chicken, and she got the fried green tomatoes, which sounds really good. Okay. Are you a fried green tomatoes fan? Um, well, it depends. It depends. I'm not. I'm, How are you? Well, I'm Greg. Nice to meet you. I'm Greg. Nice to meet you. What? Yes. <laughs> get the chop. Oh, you got the chopped sandwich. The chopped sandwich, mac and cheese. Yeah. Let's go. This is your first time here? Yeah, first time here. I've seen some, a couple of things on the Instagram. I don't show people pictures of my kids anymore. It's just like, oh, this omelet. <laughs> do you have a second? Yes, okay, I good. do. Yes. What's the story? <laughs> so I'm originally from Jamaica. I came here when I was five. I also spent 10 years in the Army. A lot of military in this yes. town. Yes, yeah. Proudly represent. Military USA. Did you take any of that influence and bring it back to I San did, Antonio? I did, I did. Tell me. And so it's all infused, like we have masala fries and stuff. Got a little twist on our dishes. It's not the standard Caribbean food. Now How is that up. is that sort of titrated down for the palate? No, it's just, that's how, my husband's from Wisconsin. Okay. You know, my kids are Caribbean Americans. So it's so Caribbean <laughs> food with cheese curds on it? <laughs> There's a little bit of cheese. <laughs> Is that, no? Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, there it comes. That's all right, Take, you know, jerk takes time. I want to showcase basically the origins of Caribbean food. And how but here's the thing. <laughs> We're in San Antonio, I Texas. Know. This is not what you expect in this town. <laughs> San Antonio embraced us in a way. My business, I actually started in culinary school. And so it just made sense to stay here. And the city has been so great to us, so. When do you sleep? Because um, with two hopping spots, Yeah, it's and I hard. have two babies. I've got a three-year-old and then my Those daughter. are your most important <laughs> concepts. What is going on? This Can is unreal. Yeah. yeah. A, a little bit of sticky right here. Okay. And a little bit of barbecue right there. Okay, perfect. And a little bit of sassy. And so, wow. So these are those masala fries that I was telling you about. Yeah. And this is Texas Gulf shrimp. Um, this is our chopped sandwich, which is, and then we put our famous mac and cheese on there. All of the food I was falling in love with immediately. And she brought out three different types of chicken. We've got our jerk chicken, yep. our famous fried chicken, and so our sweet ting sauce, I would toss our fried chicken in it, and so we call it our wet and sticky fried chicken. And yeah. plantains? Plantains. Um, we do a no mayo slaw. It's a pineapple habanero slaw. Love this. Yes. We talk. You mind if I? Yeah, go okay, right I'm in. I'm going to just dig. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm going this side, because I think I can actually manage it. Wow. This place was so delicious. It was so flavorful. 
That is so good. Is this your best seller? It's pretty popular for the lunch crowd. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you mind? Mmm, like, <laughs> San Antonio. There's something Dude, soft. Dude, these fries. <laughs> yeah. Get in here, you have to just, just taste this. <laughs> oh my God, really? You know me too well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, get out of my shot. Unbelievable. <laughs> have you ever had it, or was this something that you came up I, with? This is something I came up with. Once again, I found myself not paying attention. My palate was too distracted by all the flavor. But it was so hard to act like I was listening. The flavors were incredible. I mean, look at all this food. Look at this. Oh, and this was unbelievable. All right, I got to focus. Okay, what else are we trying? I got to go fried chicken. Eater voted her best fried chicken in Texas. Here's some jerk barbecue sauce you can dip in. Okay, let me. Oh, that's great. Chicken's moist. It's really flavorful. How no many? Dairy. No dairy. No dairy. Do you do, do you have it sit overnight? In a brine. Oh my god, so good. <laughs> do you bottle this and sell it? We don't bottle it and sell it. Yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so <clears throat> next I would go for the jerk chicken. Look at you. <laughs> oh my god. That's like the tastiest heat. Mm -hmm. That well, is so good, dude. Man, was my California showing. If I call her dude one more time, they're gonna take my cowboy hat away. You're like this magician. That's delicious. Thank you. This is the palette that I'm developing for San Antonio, mm -hmm. yet it changes like crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, is there anything yet in San Antonio that you can't get? Because I see it all, everything. I think so. I think we're we're kind of underrated for food. You know, people are used to our strong Tex-Mex scene. Right. But the food scene here is changing. You know, a lot of newbies like myself have migrated here, love the city, and are opening concept. It's, it's interesting because the culinary side of the city, which is, I think, where everybody starts, yeah. you got to bite down on every yeah. city, right? Yeah. Just kind of keep it real. <laughs> if somebody has little kids and they may not love, you know, the strong, I mean, that. This is what they get. I got to tell people that watch it, this is not overpowering. It is yeah. absolutely delicious. Yep, but oh. this is Oh, let's go, go Mac and This is what the kids want. Mm. Yeah, this is mm. what the kids want. Look at that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Come on. <laughs> Keeping it cheesy, San Antonio. <laughs> mm. All right, yeah. let me try these. Yeah. Do you say plantains? Mm -hmm. I say plantains. Mm -hmm. Who's right? Plantains. <laughs> this dish is like probably one of my favorite dishes outside of our braised oxtails. Braised Great. oxtails? Yes. How often do people order the braised oxtails? A lot to the point that we had to limit the days. So when do you have, when's braised we, oxtail? Friday through Sunday. This dish is made of peppers and coconut milk. This is spicy. <laughs> <clears throat> I am an actor that was for dramatic effect. The spice did not affect me. Can I have some milk? Just the memory of it. You Rice? probably eat some slaw to cool down your mouth. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> Habanero slaw. That is good. Is that pineapple in there? What else? It's a gastric, like a vinegar sugar. That's that's the call. Back and forth here. <laughs> oh, everything has a kick in here. Everything. Everything has a kick in here. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go into your kitchen. Right during lunch. Right during lunch, <laughs> right during your busiest time. So, Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. What are we making here? Oh, this is oh, mac, mac and cheese. And cheese. Sure. So you let it cook, you let it get a little sticky. Oh, wait, wait, show me that again. Oh, look at that. that. Can I try that? Let me do a little, let me do a little. I'm not bad. I'm not bad in the kitchen, my friend. I'm not bad, you're gonna be very proud of me. Look at that. Oh, that's good. So now we got the incorporation of the of the really the soft the stuff, cheese. the cream and the cheese. Yeah. So when are you putting it under the salamander? Uh, after I put it in the pan, I'm gonna remove it from that pan, so I'm gonna throw another layer of cheese on it and let it bake. Another Get layer of press. cheese. <laughs> I love this. I gotta earn my food. I need to clock in. <laughs> oh, was I keeping it real in the jerk shack kitchen? Look at that shrimp. Yeah, but I got the recipe from Chef Nicole. Right. Yeah, Look at that. Come on. Ooh. How long has this been marinating and cooking? What's the history of this? Uh, we all uh, marinated by yesterday. This is a day and a half process right here. Yeah, basically. So good. Tomorrow's fried chicken is in the brine right now. Yes, sir. Come on, baby, come on. Thank you for making me so happy. Love it. Thank you, Chef Nicola. Thank you, Jerk Shack. We should always keep it real, keep it spicy. Until next time, I am your hungry host, Greg Grunberg. Stay hungry, stay curious, and stay real, San Antonio.